this is the Anisio from Lion Motors out of uh, Mooresville, North Carolina. I head up a lot of the project development. This is our, our new baby. This is a full composite body, all electric supercar. Well, it's been two years in the making, or a little over two years. We have basically both spectrums. We've got the Wave car, which is our very economical to operate, economical to buy uh, commuter car that you can haul your groceries and everything else. And then we've got this one, which just pretty much plain flat out hauls the man. This current version has a UQM motor in it. Uh, it's got a five-speed transmission. It's got enough batteries in it to run you 150, 160 miles on a charge. Charges back in about eight to 10 hours. Onboard charger. You plug into 110 or 220 anywhere you're at. And uh, so if you're not at home, you can still plug in. But uh, just an overall exciting uh, car to drive and just the way it runs and operates is uh, as close to a race car or a slot car as we could get and still have it safe on the streets. The way an electric motor works is it's all about the torque. It's not about the horsepower. So you've got torque with an electric motor from one RPM. You've got maximum torque available to you. These things will just light up your local road course. They are a blast to drive. We've designed this whole interior around a seven foot person so that they can fit in there, be comfortable. The car is extremely wide, 78 inches wide. With the push of a button, the whole car raises up three inches higher than the uh, normal ride height. What that'll do is get you in and out of your driveways. Also makes it easier to get in and out of the vehicles as well. Our cantilever suspension here, that it's fully adjustable. So we can, uh, when you do decide you want to take your car out to the track and really go out for a track day and, and really run this thing through what it can do, um, we can adjust the suspension both uh, rebound and compression. Uh, your, your gearbox is ready to go racing as it sits. The rest of the car is ready to go. So very few uh, fine tunings to really get it out to the track is all it takes. For speed, we're talking the, the entry level motor is gonna still take you 160, 170 miles an hour. The entry level battery pack is still gonna take you over 150 miles in range. But, you know, this is a supercar, so it's going to come with all the options to take you well beyond that. And the upgraded motors are going to bring this 0 to 60 times in the high threes. No launch control. It does have ABS. It's going to have a dynamic stability control and traction control built into it. When it gets a little, uh, little tricky on the drive, and the, the car's there to assist you as well. This is the type of product that's going to turn everybody's minds around on what these electric cars can do and what they're capable of doing.